Would I ever date someone 10 years younger? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to talk about a question I get asked a lot. Would I ever date someone who's significantly younger than me, like 10 years younger? I'm 32 now, so that would mean dating someone around 22. This age gap can definitely raise some eyebrows and spark controversy, so I wanted to share my thoughts on it. Pros of dating someone 10 years younger. So first, let's talk about some of the potential pros of dating someone 10 years younger. For me, some of the major advantages were spontaneity and adventure. My younger exes were often down for anything, whether it was trying a new restaurant on a whim or going on a road trip. Their excitement encouraged me to seek adventure outside my routine. Fresh perspective. Having someone from a younger generation kept me feeling young too. It exposed me to new music, slang, trends and ideas that were outside my own experiences. Lesser focus on biological clock. With my younger partners, I didn't feel pressure to get married and have kids ASAP like I did with some men my own age. This took some stress off the relationship. More energy, I can lie. It was nice to be with someone who was always down to be active and didn't get tired out as early in the day. The stamina difference could be refreshing. Of course, not all younger people will have these same traits. It depends on the individual. But in general, a younger partner's vitality and spontaneity gave me some welcome excitement. Cons of dating someone 10 years younger at the same time. Dating someone 10 years younger did come with some frustrations and challenges too. Some of the main cons I encountered were judgment from others. We got a lot of side eyes and questions about why we were together. Dealing with these presumptions could be annoying. Different life stages. When I wanted to think about buying a house and starting a family, she was just getting started with her career and not ready for those steps. Our mismatched timelines caused tension. Relating to references, we had some generational gaps. I didn't always get her memes or pop culture references and vice versa. We sometimes felt out of touch. Financial imbalance. She was just starting out financially, so I often ended up having to pay for things and foot most bills, which created some awkwardness. Lack of relationship experience. Some of my younger exes were new to dating and didn't have relationship skills like communication, compromise, and accountability, which are so important. So the age gap definitely posed some obstacles. But not every May-December romance faces the same hurdles. The individuals and circumstances make all the difference. My experiences dating younger women I'll share a bit about my history dating younger persons to give you some real-life examples. When I was 27, I dated a 19-year-old. We met through mutual friends. I was drawn to her passion for social justice and activism. Dating her was my first experience with a large age gap. But we were in such different places in life that after six months, we amicably parted ways. I was established in my career whereas she was still figuring out college and his future path. While the chemistry was there, our mismatched maturity levels and life priorities ultimately led us to break up. In my early 30s, I dated two people who were 8 to 10 years younger than me. The first was a 25-year-old I was set up on a blind date with through work friends. We had a lot of fun together, going to music festivals trying new restaurants, and traveling. Our main source of conflict was around finances. She was living paycheck to paycheck, while I had savings and investments. I often covered our dates, which started to bother me. We dated for nine months before splitting. The other younger one was 28 and someone I met online. She was extremely driven and we connected over our entrepreneurial spirits. Dating her was intellectually stimulating, but the bedroom chemistry fizzled quickly. We ultimately decided we made better business partners than romantic partners and are still friends. So in summary, dating significantly younger than me had both upside and downsides. Two relationships ended due to different life stages, while one ended from mismatched chemistry. 
making a large age gap work for couples with big age differences. It is possible to have an amazing relationship. Here are six tips I have for making it work. One, discuss your life plans. Do you ultimately both want marriage, kids, home ownership, retirement goals? If you're lying, the age gap may not feel so vast. Two, make flexibility and compromise your motto. You each need to bend to close the age gap in areas where your priorities or tastes differ. Three, expand each other's horizons. Introduce one another to your favorite spots, music, films, interests. Keep an open mind and you'll find new things to enjoy together. Four, tune out the judgments of others. At the end of the day, it's your relationship. Focus on building trust with each other rather than seeking approval. Five, align on financial expectations to avoid money-related tension. Talk about budgeting, paying for dates, and shared financial goals openly. Six, keep fostering intimacy. Don't let business or routine kill your chemistry. Plan surprise date nights, adventures, and bedroom experiments. Prioritizing open communication and quality time together can help any couple with an age gap build a solid bond. Maturity levels ultimately matter more than just age alone. Wrapping up, so in summary, while dating someone 10 years younger poses some challenges, with mutual understanding and effort, it certainly can work out. At the end of the day, it comes down to the two individuals involved and if you connect emotionally, intellectually, and physically. Age gaps aren't for everyone, but for some couples. It's just a number. There are plenty of examples of successful May-December relationships out there. If both people are willing to grow, compromise, and keep an open mind, a large age difference doesn't have to be a deal breaker. I hope you enjoyed hearing my perspective on this topic. Let me know in the comments. Would you ever consider dating someone significantly younger or older than yourself? I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on dating, relationships, and love. Until next time.